Welcome to this video on binomial distributions. We will talk about a few probability distribution in the series. I am Piyush and uh, you will be with me for the next 5 or 6 minutes. Now binomial distribution can be used if four of all four of these conditions are fulfilled. Number one is that the number of trials are fixed. Okay. So for example if the trial is tossing a coin we toss the coin for a fixed number of times. So you toss it for 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, a fixed number of times. For each trial, there has to be only two outcomes. So you can have a success or a failure. So when I toss a coin, I can have a heads or a tails. Um, I have a, a probability of having an accident or not having an accident. I can, the product is either defective or it is not defective. So there can only be two possible outcomes for each trial. The probability of success for each trial, which is P, we designated as P, is fixed. So if in the first tossing of the coin, the probability of getting heads is 0.5, in the eighth or the nth tossing of the coin, the probability of getting heads should be 0.5. Okay? And lastly, all the observations must be independent. The outcome of the first event must have no bearings or no impact on the outcome of the second, third or the fourth event or the trial. Okay? Let's directly jump to a problem and try to understand. Now here we have a pharmaceutical drug which is known to cause negative side effects in 15 out of 250 cases in an observed sample uh, and 20 people are chosen from the sample and we need to find the probability of um, these five points. Wonderful. Now let's understand um, in, in this pro particular probability, uh, particular problem the number of trials is fixed because we are testing 20 people. Okay, it's 20, n is 20 here. The trial has only two possible outcomes. Either um, there will be a negative side effect or there won't be a negative side effect. The probability which is p which is 15 by 1, uh, 250 is fixed. And of course, one person developing a side effect has no impact on the other person developing a side effect. So the probability, uh, every observation is independent and the probability is fixed. All right, so let's try solving this. The P for us is equal to 15 divided by 250. Okay, so this is 0 0.06. Please understand, so there's a 6% chance that any single person um, will develop a negative side effect. Our n number of trials or number of samples that we have is 20. And let's start with the first. Uh, in this case, what we're trying is no patient develops a side effect. So, for in our case, the R or the number of patients who uh, are successful in this case get a side effect needs to be zero. Um, so, I start. I need the probability of uh, zero side effects so I write equal to binom dist remember this is the formula binom dist number is zero uh, that number of trials are 20 the probability of success in each trial is 0 0.06 and I want the exact value I do not want a cumulative value so 0 1 2 3 4 we will see cumulative in a while I want the exact value of zero so I put cumulative as false okay enter so there is a 0.29 or 29 percent chance that there will be zero people with side effects in the 20 people that we have selected let's repeat the problem with this different number in this case this different number is exactly two patients so r is two exactly two patients develop the side effect so probability that exactly two patients develop the side effect is equal to binom dist bracket open two people develop the side effects out of 20 and the probability is 0 0.06 and again cumulative is false bracket closed enter so there is a 22.45 percent chance that somebody will develop that two people will develop exactly two people will develop negative side effects now the problem number three uh, what is the probability that at a maximum of three patients develop side effects so maximum of three that means r could be zero r could be one or r could be two or r could be three okay so probability of r for zero uh, equals 
binom dist binom dist bracket open number is 0 number of trials is 20 I'll fix this in a while so that I can drag it and probability in each is 60 and cumulative is false bracket closed um, I fix the because I'm going to drag it down I fix the uh, number of trials and the probability per trial so it makes my life easier this point 29 is same what we observe so these are the probabilities of getting so many um, people with side effects and at maximum 3 I have to sum up these values perfect there is a 97.10 percent chance that a maximum of three patients will develop side effect okay uh, there is an easier way to get it so probability of uh, less than three the easier way tells me that uh, equal to binom dist number is three comma the trials are 20 the probability per trial is six and in this case I use a number true because I want cumulative on 0 1 2 and 3 that's cumulative so when I want a cumulative value I put 3 and I get 0 0.971034 which is exactly same as this particular value so if you look at both the values in red this I obtain by summing up individual values and this I obtain by putting the true value here okay the true all right let's go to fourth uh, the fourth says 16 patients uh, sorry it says at least three patients develop a negative side effect now let's understand that at least three patients means r is three four five six all the way up till 20 so one way i could do is find individual values sum it up wonderful uh, but imagine if the, the, we were talking about a case 100 patients or more this would be very cumbersome very difficult to do so what we use is we use a cumulative for up till 2 okay because up till 2 means 0 1 2 and then we subtract that from 1 so when I subtract that from 1 we get um, that uh, the probability of at least 3 patients developing negative side effects because these are complementary events so 0 1 2 plus 3 or more patients developing the probabilities has to be 1 so we use this principle find out probability from um, 0 to 2 cumulative and then subtract that from 1 to get at least 3 patients develop negative side effects so the simple answer here would be equal to 1 minus uh, binom dist b i n o m d i s t bracket opens number is 2 number of trials is fixed as 20 uh, and uh, probability is fixed as 0 0.06 and I want cumulative you can write true as capital um, you know uh, the font of true or the case of true doesn't make a difference so it's 11.49 percent chance or it's close to actually 11.5 percent chance that at least three patients would develop a negative side effect now the last part 16 patients do not develop negative side effects now this is um, giving it to you in a different sense so when I say 16 people do not develop side effects it is the same thing as saying that four people develop side effects so what we can do is we can find out the chance of four people developing side effects and they'll be equivalent to 16 people not developing side effects so we can take it equal to um, binom dist bracket open number I want four people to not develop um, comma the number of trials are 20 and the probability of um, is 0 0.06 and this is false because you want an exact value of four not developing it's not up till four or max four and you get 0 0.023 so it's 2.33 percent chance that somebody will um, four p exactly four people will not develop or 16 people will uh, sorry four people develop side effects or 16 people do not develop side effects whichever way you look at it oh well i hope um, you enjoyed this um, in case you have any comments uh, anything you'd like to suggest you can email me at piyushasha at gmail.com 
in case you like the video please like it here on youtube comment share it with your friends uh, do stay in touch thank you